I was born in San Bernardino, California. There was so much violence. People get killed all the time. People are everywhere, laying on the floor, sleeping. It's in these slums, in these dark places. It's a dead city. My dad was in the streets. He was all into the, the, the gang stuff. And my mom was on drugs. When you get hooked on that type of stuff, that's it. That's all you know. That's all you do. She couldn't take care of us. She just didn't have the means. I didn't have anything. I was just so hungry that I would eat dirt. My dad said he found us and our pampers were full. We had not been changed in three or four days. My mom, I remember, she took me down to my grandmother's house. She had these smoky yellow eyes. And then I remember her giving us away. My little brother was just about six months. At four or five years old, I understood, oh, this life is raw. Life is hard. My grandma really put the, the structure around me. Watch your little brother. Be the protector. Be the strong one. Say yes, sir. No, ma'am. And she taught me everything I know. I call her my mother and my father. My foundation. She died when she was 53. And so my whole motivation was making grandma proud. My little brother went to Rialto. He was 12, 13 years old and joined a gang. Everyone there is in the gang. I'm not doing that. I'm not like that. I had to make a choice. I chose to stay in Fontana and wrestle. I joined the wrestling team and I started developing my character. I started learning that I can get people's attention. One day I'm drinking with some friends. We're all kind of hanging out. And one of my friends was like, there's a wrestling tournament tomorrow. It's a freestyle tournament where adults can go to freestyle. The wrestling match starts and I'm doing things no one's ever seen. I'm jumping, I'm spinning over the guy's back and doing some flip weird twist. And they're like, what the? After the meet's over, I'm leaving. And some guys come up, hey, 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 come here, come here. Bro, you should fight. I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. Look at this card right here. He showed me a card, and on the card is the guy I beat up. And he's actually fighting for a belt. Maybe I could do it. I don't know boxing. I don't know anything about stand-up. I don't know anything about jujitsu. I'm just a wrestler. He's always rolling his shoulders, always bringing his hands up when he's in range. Bobby. Oh, because he's a talker, there's no doubt. Yeah, he literally said, I like to talk, and he likes to I look forward to having a conversation. Already been a fun fight. I mean, it, you know, Kaziv is throwing, and we've seen him land a lot of these strikes on fighters, but it's not only Bobby. Bobby Green has exceptional defense. Some will question why he holds his hand so low, but this allows him to move his head faster. And offensively, it makes it more difficult to see the punches coming because they're coming from his hips, and it's hard to see that. And he rips the body effectively there. And that's exactly what you gotta do against Bobby Green. You start, you try to aim at his head, he sets up all his counters, but those body shots will add up. With the power that this man possesses, Oh, nice counter right from Green after a flurry from what Kazee. Bobby's making a miss, and he's landing the big hands and some body kicks, but Kazee's landing just a little bit more, filling in the gaps. Crowd starting to get behind Bobby Green. He's asking for more now. <laughs> and he's landing. Has three punches in a row. Four or five. Arsenio has next level striking. He's a future champion. And as he's done so many times before, Bobby's in there testing him at a level that Fazeev hasn't been. With about two minutes to go, Bobby Green unofficially is now outlanded. Rafael oh, Fazeev and big one. kick there. He's finished most of his wins, so accruing some valuable longer form experience here. One minute to go. Crowd screaming Bobby right oh now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, nice little right hand off the jab. Bobby's sticking him. Fazeev hurt here at the end of the fight. A big right from Green. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's oh, maybe he's on him. When I'm in a fight, you're not gonna break me because life has tried to break me so many times. I chose me, but I do it because it changes people's lives. It gives me the opportunity to help and to show people that 
You can be different, you know? You can be misunderstood, but at the end of the day, everything boils down to choices. You could go and change everything. Just all determines on you. If you guys still haven't had a chance to try out Manscaped.com's tried and true flagship product, then you have to check out the Lawnmower 4.0. It's specifically designed to trim hair on, you know, loose skin, so you'll be avoiding painful cuts and nicks because of their advanced skin safe technology. Oh, and by the way, these are also waterproof with an LED spotlight, so you can actually take it into the shower with you and actually see what you're doing down there. And as always, because your boys here at ITP want to hook you up, use code ITP at checkout and you'll receive 20% off your entire order and free shipping. Until next time, homies, catch you later.